everybody welcome back to the show it's your host the wolf of crypto y'all tuned in for another episode of the wolf of crypto pod and uh got some disheartening news here about uphold and their debit card program uh it's being discontinued and obviously that's going to be our topic of focus here today and uh yeah i was a little torn got the email and i'm just like huh debit card deactivation i'm like there's no way what happened get an email from uphold topic subject line uphold debit card deactivation notice writing me to say uh basically they could discontinue the support for the existing U.S. Uphold Debit Card Program. Um, it's not going to be valid after March 31st. Obviously, in the cardholder agreement, the card is serviced by uh, Uphold through a partnership with uh, the card issuer being Evolve Bank and Trust. Apparently, that partnership is coming to an end. So... Obviously, <laughs> take advantage to use the cart right now because once the end of the month gets here, it is donezo. And seeing that news, I was just kind of like, wow, what is what is going on when it comes to obviously the U.S. and cryptocurrency? I feel like what as of late, it's been a lot of tax on crypto. Obviously, there's always going to be a tax on crypto because it's a disrupting product. Um, The industry is very disrupting to what we are currently accustomed to. And um, I was trying to find some articles about, you know, why there was a discontinuation. Hopefully I can find something about why the partnership, you know, kind of, I would say, abruptly ended. Um, and for me being a user, um, and I was a heavy user of their card. Um, but I thought it was pretty beneficial, um, especially when it comes to, you know, having that access to be able to use your crypto as a, you know, just a regular everyday debit card that you would typically use only, you know, difference with this was obviously it was crypto based and, you had that luxury of earning some cash back um, in any crypto that you're using on the card. So for me, that was one of the big incentives, which kind of brought me over to uphold. Obviously, um, I'll still have to, you know, keep uphold as far as like one of those wallets because it is attached to, uh, my Brave and Bat rewards when it comes to using, you know, Brave browser. So that's something that obviously I'll continue to use because, again, I have no choice. But seeing the debit card program kind of end, um, like I said, with really no real explanation, um, maybe I can try to dive in and see if I can find something maybe on the, on Discord or Telegram. Um, but as far as uphold itself for those of you that might not be too familiar with uphold as a platform um uphold is a global multi-asset digital trading platform um it's an online platform that allows you to trade and manage your digital assets in a secure easy way um now when it comes to the different benefits that you know this platform offers uh, depend on, you know, you, the consumer, you as a user, depend on what 
type of platforms you're accustomed to. Um, I can say, like I said, this one I've used for some time, obviously, because again, I was part of the debit card program. And um, when it first, when I first used it, I would say one of my biggest complaints that they finally added was uh, the capability to kind of do a limit trading. Um, for some reason, they just had it where you were always obviously buying at the market price. And they did add that feature along with some other features as well. Um, now, security wise, you know, uh, some of the benefits or I should say one of the key benefits of Uphold does have some, you know, good security. Uh does have that advanced encryption, authentication technologies to protect your digital assets and personal information, meaning, you know, your data is safe. Assets are safe from hackers and other threats. But the key thing that you got to remember with Uphold, um, all those assets that are technically speaking on the platform that you're using, you don't necessarily own them. Um, and that's because again, when it comes to private keys, I believe from, if I'm not mistaken, like I said, um, I don't use it as much as I used to, but I'm trying to remember when I first created an account, um, did they give me an option when it came to the private keys? Obviously I can go back into my account settings to see if that feature is even, um, apart. So that's something I got double check and circle around to see if that is something because again this is something that I always try to tell people um, those of you that be listening to my pod gotta yeah, remember the difference when it comes to assets that you truly necessarily own compared to assets that somebody else technically speaking is facilitating and actually is holding those assets so um Another benefit, obviously, Uphold is pretty easy to use. Um, again, this is another platform that has a user friendly interface, making it easy to obviously buy, sell and manage your digital assets. Same thing goes for them. Um, the list of assets that they continue to add, um, it's been going up. So I'm pretty sure they go continue to always add more crypto assets. Um, it's just going to suck now because, again, you're not going to be able to necessarily spend those assets on your uphold debit card in the US. Apparently, the UK program looks like it's still intact. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit more, a little bit in the show. In addition to the security and ease of use, like I said, does uphold does offer a wide range of digital assets to trade. Um, you can trade cryptocurrencies, fiat currencies, precious metals, and more. Um, and the precious metals and more one, I'm not sure if maybe you have to be in a certain jurisdiction because I notice sometimes there's certain assets that you're not even allowed to trade on Uphold. Um, so obviously, you know, this does allow to to diversify your portfolio and take advantage of new investment opportunities. But again, you can't necessarily trade all the assets that is available, depending on obviously where you live. Now, some other features that make Uphold stand out from other trading platforms. Um, uh, there's some transparency that, again, for those of you that are looking to get transparency, because <laughs> if you are in the crypto world, sometimes that level of transparency is not there. Um, so Uphold does provide detailed information about its fees, exchange rates. So, you know exactly what you're paying and what you're receiving. Um, again, another feature that sets it apart. Global reach. Uphold does operate in about 184 countries. Obviously, meaning that you can trade these digital assets no matter where you are in the world, making Uphold an ideal platform to trade globally. And as far as the variety of payment options, allows you to pay with credit, debit cards, bank transfers, and cryptocurrencies, meaning obviously you can choose a payment method that works best for you. Now, as far as how do you manage those assets, uh, again, it's pretty simple. 
They have different walls that you're able to create within the platform. And once upon a time before the debit card got discontinued, um, you were able to basically kind of swap from your crypto that was necessary in your trading account and you would put it into basically like your debit card account. Um, so it was technically speaking, it's like having like two accounts. So obviously your trade account, if you want to have some money on there. And then what I would do sometimes is I would leave some money on my other account that I could obviously use with the uphold uh, debit card. Now there is a wide range of tools and resources to help you track your investments and uh, help you make some training of decisions on the platform. You can view your portfolio performance, uh, track the market trends. You can set price alerts to stay on top of your investments. And again, they finally added that capability to do limit trading. So that was a nice thing to see. Um, again, let's go to the debit card and why for me, I was again, this point to see it go but apparently here if you go to uphold apparently their debit card program is okay in the UK so for those of you that might be in that country looks like you're fine Um, obviously what they have as far as features that I'm going to read were the same features that you had on the US debit card one of the biggest things was being there was zero foreign transaction fees, which was nice. So times that I was traveling uh, and having the capability to use my uphold debit card and not have to worry about any transaction fees, really nice. And obviously it would automatically convert into that currency. Now you can spend directly from your uphold wallet for some reason, which is interesting here. They have it where, you earn 4% cash back, which is paid in XRP anywhere in the world. Obviously there was no annual fees to get the plastic card. I think it was like maybe like eight bucks to get shipped out. Um, So again, the XRP rewards seems like they're uh, really hyping that up. Cause at first um, beforehand, or at least maybe it was just, part of the country when it came to the u.s debit card i felt like bitcoin was more of the front runner when it came to you know advertising the reward program um because obviously you were getting rewards in bitcoin i mean i was even getting rewards in litecoin because that was another cryptocurrency that i tend to use with the card um so it's kind of interesting to see how the uk version is a big advocate for you know xrp which for me ripple xrp i you know i i think that coin is really just whatever <laughs> um you know it's yeah that i could talk a whole episode about xrp and ripple i mean i would invest into that really early on when i first got into cryptocurrency and then you know after seeing <laughs> the rest of the story of how Ripple just kind of collapsed. I mean, even though people are still, you know, believers, obviously still invest into that coin. um, Clearly it looks like the partnership that they got going on in the UK, apparently they're big Ripple fans as well. So again, interesting to see that. Obviously you can use your card to spend crypto. You're, you're able to track your spending with real time analytics. Um, so it was kind of cool to see how like it would group all the different uh, stores that you would visit into little categories and stuff like that. So you can kind of get a gauge on your spending and stuff like that. Just, you know, if you were into that type of bookkeeping, um, gave you the ability to protect your account with the freeze your card option. So you can go directly into the app in case you, you know, lost your car for whatever reason. And you always had that capability to freeze it. It's been regulated by the FCA. And obviously the last cool feature about this was being able to have this on your Apple Pay or Google Play, depending on your mobile phone. So 
yeah, I, it's tough, man. It's tough to see it go. Um, cause I'm looking at all the FAQ and everything's for, you know, the UK. So now it seems like we're down to, or at least for me personally, I'm down to my crypto.com card, which again, I'm, I haven't been using that one. Um, and I'm actually going to go into detail of why I kind of stepped away a little bit from cryo in a, in a, in a future episode. Um, but as far as the uphold debit card again, hate to see it go. Hoping in the near future they you know may bring it back because, like I said, for me, that was kind of like my main sensitive to really like, you know, try to have some money on that, you know, particular account when it comes to trades or just having money on there to use on my debit card. So now that this is unraveled, it's almost like, well, back to the drawing board to see who else may or may not um, come out with a, you know, card that you can use on the daily. Obviously, crypto.com still there. Um, I know I believe Binance, uh, I believe they're working on releasing a card as well. I think they got some type of partnership with MasterCard from what I had last read. Um, and I know Gemini has what their credit card, obviously, when obviously BlockFi had a card as well, but you know, obviously BlockFi went down. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be something interesting to kind of keep an eye out for in the future is to see you know which cars do last which cars come and go um i think coinbase has a new one i gotta double check to see if it's available in the u.s i know um they have one i think if i'm not mistaken available for the uk clearly if you're following this it seems like when it comes to us having a crypto card probably is going to be a lot more difficult just cuz of you know regulations and everything else that they're trying to do to stop uh, crypto from you know just doing what it normally does um cuz i know when coinbase first came around for those of you that remember um they had a shift card which was pretty cool so that was you know basically your crypto debit card that was hooked up to your account, um, same capabilities, you know, load up your crypto on there, spend it anywhere Visa will accept it. And then that got snipped in the butt. Um, so yeah, I think it just, like I said, comes down to US regulations and what you're allowed and not allowed to do when it comes to a car. So hopefully, I mean, obviously crypto.com, that's probably the one cart that may not go away, but you know, never say never, because obviously we've, we've seen some projects and companies collapse that we might have thought in that moment, oh, they're not going to collapse. And then all of a sudden, boom, they're done. So, yeah, if you can't tell, folks, that is, uh, I guess it's a little downer, man, because um, I was I was going to go right back to using that bad boy, but now it's like, all right, we got to take that out of our, all of our toolbox. So, and if you had a chance to go over to uphold, you know, you can check it out. Um, I'm not saying like, it's, like I said, I'm not saying it's a bad trading platform or anything like that. Just for me personally, um, what I had pictured as far as what I was going to use a platform for now, like I said, only for the bad brave rewards. So all those rewards will still go into my uphold account. Technically speaking, I need an uphold account to get those rewards. So that's really now going to be the main function, at least for me. Um, but yeah, it's going to wrap it up as far as today's particular episode. Again, uphold car folks, it's gone. It is done. But when one card or two cards go down, I'm pretty sure more will obviously eventually populate and again, I want to check in to see if that Coinbase card is available in the U.S. Because if it is, maybe I might, you know, maybe I might pick one up 
even though despite my uh, love hate relationship for the Coinbase, and um, yeah, so we'll we'll see, we'll see, man. Again, I'm your host, the Wolf of Crypto, and you guys have been listening to the Wolf of Crypto Pod. Till next time, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Peace.